so we're upstairs in the guest bathroom right now and can take a look there. It's often overlooked, especially when it comes to lighting because it's an afterthought. So if you've got people coming and or you're listing the house for sale or you just want to uh, be thorough in your house upkeep, let's take a light, look at the light bulbs. Here I've got one of the old Hollywood kind of style um, open exposed, exposed bulbs. One's burnt out, they're all kind of dusty and gross, the whole little lit, light fixture. So we're gonna take that bulb out so that we can see what we need to replace it with. You can see the difference here um, between our different, I'm not really sure what's going on here. It looks like a tie-dye experiment, um, but we're gonna go and figure out what kind of bulbs we want. You wanna think if you want a warm bulb, a cool bulb, a white, um, an off-white, there's so many choices, it's crazy. So we're gonna take a look at some of those different choices and get everything looking bright, crisp, and clear. Uh, we want crisp and clear in the puzzling room, <laughs> but we might not want it so crisp and clear in the bathroom, if you know what I'm saying. So we'll be back here shortly. Alright, so we're back with this exciting conclusion of part two of Why Light Matters. Back in the bathroom, Hollywood lights changing out. Took what I needed with me to the store. Again, this is a little bit more uh, standard than the ones we dealt with last week. Uh, so easier to replace. You just want to make sure you're matching, again, the color, the globe. You don't want a frosted one with a bunch of clear ones, etc. So you would think that that's pretty self-explanatory. It's not. Ta-da! And bam! There you go. As you can see, light does matter. It sells houses and it keeps you happier when you're living in them. Be sure to check me out next Tuesday. Give me a follow on Facebook, YouTube, all of those fancy places or just drop by on www.trishgibbs.com. We'll see you next Tuesday.